What's up guys, it's The Real Deal, back with another Raid Channel video and today we are going to pull in Soul Stones. We've got 137 of these bad boys to get through and then we've got five Immortal Soul Stones as well. But I'm going to bump that up with a Mystic Market. Uh, Plurin did like some sort of event recently and just gave us loads of these coins. So I can get either 10 Soul Stones or we can get 200 Soul Essences. Now there's different opinions on this and there's pros and cons to both. So with Soul Essences, you can choose who you put, um, who you can get those red stars on. You can get three or four with 200. But let's just use this as an example. So say I've got Ratos and I want to bump him up, empower him a little bit. I can do that. But then you might get lucky with a Soul Stone or a Mortal Soul Stone. And then you might just end up just wasting those coins that you spent. On the flip side, you know, I could just buy all these soul stones and it might land on the champions that I want or I might just not get any of the champions that I want as well so it's very difficult and I don't think there is a right answer to be honest it just depends if you're a gambler or not today I feel like a gambler so let's go for it there's an extra 10 so now I've got 15 to pull let's go big let's start with immortal soul stones let's pull 10 oh I'm feeling nervous guys okay nothing but blue at the moment the Mitha, don't really use her to be honest. Cardinal. Oh, Tormund. I don't have Tormund. And Agnar, I don't have either. I mean, I'd love to have Tormund. Um, he's not as strong as he used to be, but I still think he's a pretty interesting champion. And you can definitely build him different ways. And that's something I really like about champions that are very, you know, where they've got like unique passives or skills. So you can build them in very different ways. So it's really something that I like about him, but... I don't have him. Let's go for five more. But yeah, two legendaries off the bat. Not bad at all. Another epic. Uh, Ina. Don't have her. She's pretty new, I think. Another legendary. Pixanal. Oh, are you taking the piss? Seriously. Okay, another blue. Ugo, I need this for my Hydra team. That's a very nice pull. Okay, and we're down to the last one. And it is... Oh, a very new champion. Umigatogi. <laughs> I butchered that. But yeah, it's one that I don't have. I've also wishlist. Who have you guys got on there? So I've got a Valkyrie. And um, I've actually built one out as a Nuka. Um, do you know what? Let's swatch, um, switch out Pytheon. I actually want to um, empower my... Um, Helicat. So yeah, let's actually bring in Helicat. So I'm actually going to be building out a Helicat for Live Arena as a Nuka. I've got a Valkyrie built as a Nuka as well for Live Arena. Both unique and very strong options for Live Arena. And also Uko because he's just a beast. Then I've got Seer just because an empowered Seer just does so much damage to clear waves. Great for so much content. Fennex also a great option for Live Arena. Uh, yeah, and the other ones don't really matter too much. But let me know who you guys are after. I'd love to know. Please do drop me a comment below. Salut. Here we go. Another legendary. Oh, uh, Morgan. So I've actually, um, I've just actually just started to level up the other day. She's really good for Live Arena. Great, great champion. Uh, I'm not sure what blessing I want to go with her. Um, if you guys have got one. Please do let me know. I mean, she's a really great stripper for Live Arena, and she can also turn me a boost. So that is the reason why I want to be using her. Oh, two legendaries. Okay. Uh, Jetney, I'm going to be skipping her. I am not interested at all. Uh, this is a new guy. Uh, Michinaki. Michinaki. I don't have him, but I know he's really good for Hydra. That's a real shame I don't have him. And Shamul, I have been wanting to um, boost him up a little bit. So very pleased with that. That is going to really help boost my account. You can actually use him in um, top tier classic arena and also live arena as well. Um, really interesting champion. But also I think everyone knows he is amazing for Hydra, especially if that um, head of fear is the, on the starting rotation. He will just boost the term meter of your entire team so quickly. Again, 
two legendaries off the bat. Got uh, Thea. I don't use mine at the moment, but she is an awesome champion. Um, and Mother Sabel can be used for Hydra as well. Uh, and we need to make some space, be back in a mo. Okay, we're halfway through. We're down to 87. So let's go. Okay, nothing too interesting there. <laughs> Blue tax. Come on, we need some more Legos. Two hundred ruck. Okay, so mine's actually already powered. And this is what I talked about earlier. Um, that's just a wasted star for me, and I did spend coins to do that. Gembo though, three star for Gembo. Amazing champion. One of the best epic arena nukers. He can compete with the big boys if you get him. Definitely worth investing in. Uh, no one too interesting there. And another legendary. Morley. Oh, so this is really annoying. I did actually also, you know, spend soul, uh, soul essences on her. So that is a bit annoying. Um, and Seer, great champion. Um, I think mine's actually really empowered, but it's only one star. So hopefully she pops up again, but we definitely need more than one star. At least three or four. Let's not be too greedy. Double Lego. Okay. Um, Clan Lord I don't have and Helio is already empowered. I need to make some more space again. Okay, so we're down to 27. I'm going to go back in the Mystic Market because I think we can get three more Immortal Soul Stones. Definitely worth. And I can buy two Immortal Soul uh, Two eternal soul stones as well. Let's get it. Let's go big. Um, let's start with the immortal soul stones. Come on. So many champions that I need to um, awaken. Sorry, you're not one of them. Okay, Flushmonger, definitely not worth just pure trash. Another rare. So this is what this is like the pros and cons of it, you know. So Eternal, so it's got to be an Epic or a Legendary. Fingers crossed. Come on, guys. Let's get something big. Oh, God. Just trash. Come on. Oh, okay. Another just trash. What, what a waste. All right. So hopefully, you know what? Mortal Soul Stones have always been good to me, and that's where I've got most of my Awakened Champions from. And here we go again. Yes, Valkyrie. That is going to boost my... So I'm lucky enough to have three Valkyries on my account, but that is really going to boost my Valkyrie Nuka like nobody's business. She is going to be dropping heads anytime soon now. Um, so I'm going to stick in Soul Reaper on her, and she's going to be doing so much damage. It is going to be insane. So seven more to go. Jareg, he is a decent champion. Um, you can use him for loads of content. You can use him for Eternal Dragon on the Doom Tower because of his ally protection. Uh, you can also use um, use him on Griffin as well. So yeah, he is an awesome champion. Definitely worth investing in. But yeah, down to three. I I think that's it. I think that's it, guys. I don't think we're gonna get anything else tasty. But um, we've had to, we've had some really good pulls today, though. I'm happy with that. Um, definitely well worth the wait. I still think Polarium need to rework the way that you can awaken your champions because it is so RNG, but that's the way it is for the for the moment. It, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe, and I'll catch you in my next video. Peace! Sorry, guys. I just wanted to do some bonus footage of you guys just to show you uh, me awakening my Valkyrie and we'll just look at her stats as well um, and the gear that I've put her in. So look at that <laughs> right at the top with Hepafrek. Hep Hepafrek? Hepafrek. Um, so yeah, she's in Savage and Crit Damage gear. Pretty low HP, but needs a bit more defense. I'd like that to be sort of 7k. Pretty fast, 100% crit rate, 250 crit damage. Let's bump that up with um, good old Soul Reap. And let's just look at the increase in damage. 
275 crit damage. I cannot wait to start using her in a uh, live arena and just dropping heads. 